The 2017 Australian Open was a tennis tournament that took place at Melbourne Park between 16. The 29th of January 2017. It was the 105th edition of the Australian Open and the first Grand Slam tournament of the year. The tournament consisted of events for professional players in singles, doubles and mixed doubles play. Junior and wheelchair players competed in singles and doubles tournaments. As in previous years, the tournament's title sponsor was Kia. Novak Djokovic and Angelique Kerber were the defending champions and both were unsuccessful in their title defense. They lost to Dennis Estoman and Coco Vandeweghe in the second and fourth rounds, respectively. For the first time since the 2004 French Open, both no. One seeds lost before the quarterfinals, with both Andy Murray and Kerber defeated in the fourth round. Roger Federer won his 18th men's singles Grand Slam title by defeating Rafael Nadal in a five-set final. It was his first major title since 2012 Wimbledon and a rematch of the 2009 Australian Open final, which Nadal won in five sets. Serena Williams overcame her sister Venus in the women's singles final, surpassing Steffi Graf to become the player with the most major wins in the women's game in the Open Era Tournament. The 2017 Australian Open was the 105th edition of the tournament and was held at Melbourne Park in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. The tournament was run by the International Tennis Federation. ITF, and as part of the 2017 ATP World Tour and the 2017 WTA Tour calendars under the Grand Slam category. The tournament consisted of both men's and women's singles and doubles draws as well as a mixed doubles event. There were singles and doubles events for both boys and girls, players under 18, which are part of the Grade A category of tournaments, and also singles doubles and quad events for men's and women's wheelchair tennis players as part of the NEC Tour, under the Grand Slam category. The tournament was played on hard courts and took place over a series of 25 courts, including the three main show courts, Rod Laver Arena, High Sense Arena and Margaret Court Arena. Broadcast In Australia, Selected key matches were broadcast live by the Seven Network. The majority of matches was shown on the network's primary channel, Channel 7. However, during news programming nationwide and most night matches in Perth, coverage shifted to either 7-2 or 7-mate. Additionally, every match was also available to be streamed live through a free 7 tennis mobile app. Internationally, Eurosport held the rights for Europe, broadcasting matches on Eurosport 1, Eurosport 2 and the Eurosport player. Point and prize money distribution Point distribution Below is a series of tables for each of the competitions showing the ranking points offered for each event. Senior points Wheelchair points Junior points Prize money The Australian Open total prize money for 2017 was increased by 14% to tournament record $50. Oh, 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 oh. Singles players Day by day summaries Day 2 Ivo Kalovic came from two sets to love down to defeat Horacio Zabios 6. 7, 3, 6, 7, 5, 6, 2, 22, 20. The 84 games which were played as the longest Australian Open match, by number of games played, since the introduction of tiebreaks in 1971. Time-wise, the match was the second longest in Australian Open history, only behind the 5-hour and 53-minute 2012 final between Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. Kalovic also set a new Australian Open record, hitting 75 aces in the match. Day 4 Denis Estoman defeated six-time champion Novak Djokovic in five sets, 
It was Djokovic's earliest exit from a Grand Slam since his second-round loss at the 2008 Wimbledon Championships. Marjana Lucic Baroni defeated Agnieszka Radwanska in two sets. It was Radwanska's earliest exit in the tournament since her first-round loss at the 2009 Australian Open. As a result, Lucic Baroni advanced to the third round of the Australian Open for the first time since the 1998 Australian Open. Day 6 Grigor Dimitrov defeated Richard Gasquet in three sets. The 122-minute match began at 11.58 p.m. which is the latest start to a match in Australian Open history. Day 7 50th-ranked Misha Zverev defeated men's no. 1 seed Andy Murray in four sets. The last time Murray fell to an opponent ranked outside the top 50 at a Grand Slam was to 51st ranked Juan Ignacio Quila at the 2006 Australian Open. Murray is the first top seed to exit the Australian Open this early in the competition since Leighton Hewitt lost at the same stage in 2003. Coco Vandewey defeated defending champion and women's no. 1 seed Angelique Kerber. The loss marked the first time in the Open era that both men's and women's no. One seeds have been knocked out of the Australian Open before the quarter-finals. Day 8 Marjana Lucic Baroni reached her first Grand Slam quarter-final in 18 years. Her previous Grand Slam quarter-final came at the 1999 Wimbledon Championships, where she reached the semi-finals. Day 9 Venus Williams defeated Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in the quarterfinal. This was her 50th singles victory at the Australian Open. She also became the oldest woman to make a Grand Slam semi-final since Martina Navratilova at 1994 Wimbledon Championships. Day 10 Rafael Nadal defeated Milos Raonic in the quarterfinal. This was his 50th singles victory at the Australian Open. Day 11 Venus Williams defeated Coco Vandeweghe to reach her second Australian Open final, last appearing in 2003 where she lost to her sister Serena. Venus, at 36 years old, became the oldest Australian Open singles finalist of the Open era. This was her first Grand Slam singles final since she lost the 2009 Wimbledon final to Serena. Serena also made the final, making it the ninth time the Williams sisters would meet in a Grand Slam final. Roger Federer defeated the 2014 champion Stan Wawrinka and became the second man in Open era to reach six Australian Open finals. After Novak Djokovic Day 12 Rafael Nadal also made the final, making it the ninth time he would meet Roger Federer in a Grand Slam final. Day 13 After Serena Williams defeated her sister Venus Williams in straight sets, she set a new record by winning the tournament for the seventh time. Serena also reclaimed the no. 1 ranking and claimed her 23rd Grand Slam surpassing Steffi Graf's open-era record of 22 Grand Slams. Day 14 Roger Federer defeated Rafael Nadal in a five-set match. 6, 4, 3, 6, 6, 1, 3, 6, 6, 3 at ending his record for the most Grand Slams won in men's singles to 18 and becoming the first man ever to win at least five times in three different Grand Slam tournaments each. Nadal was leading the fifth set after breaking Federer's service in the first game, but Federer mounted a comeback, breaking back and then going up another service break. The Swiss held on to win the set and match for his first major victory over Nadal since the 2007 Wimbledon Championships. Federer brought to tears when Nadal's challenge to a forehand winner on championship point was ruled unsuccessful, admitted after the match that he would have been happy to lose, and said, Tennis is a tough sport. 
there are no draws but if there was going to be one I would have been very happy to accept a draw tonight and share it with Rafa. Quote. Champions. Seniors. Men singles. This was a rematch of the 2009 Australian Open final, which Rafael Nadal won to become the first, and to date, only, Spaniard to win the Australian Open title. As of 2017 it remains his only title at the tournament. The final saw the two holding service for six games of the first set, whilst during the seventh game was the pivotal break of serve giving Federer the opening set. Nadal quickly broke Federer's serve in the second set racing out to a lead that Federer could not overcome, giving him the second set and leveling the match at one set apiece. The third set was a rather lopsided affair seeing Nadal secure his service game only in the fourth game of the set. The fourth set started off competitively with the two holding serve, until Nadal broke in the fourth game of the set, a lead he would never surrender evening the match at two sets apiece. The decisive fifth set commenced with a break of Federer's serve by Nadal, giving him a lead in the early going. However, Nadal's serve got broken during the sixth game of the set, leveling the match at two sets and three games apiece. Federer won the next three games breaking Nadal's service in the eighth game of the set to allow him to successfully serve out the match in the final ninth game. This was Roger Federer's 18 Grand Slam singles title, the most ever by a man in the history of tennis, and it was his fifth Australian Open title, just one shy of the record co-held by Novak Djokovic and Roy Emerson. Women's Singles This was a rematch of the 2003 Australian Open final where Serena Williams completed the first Serena Slam and her career Grand Slam, whilst Serena won five more Australian Open titles in the interim and her sister Venus had no other final appearances at the event. They each broke the others serve twice to start the match with Venus finally holding serve in the fifth service game and her sister Serena holding her own serve in the subsequent game. The seventh game was the pivotal break of service that Serena Williams got on her sister Venus serve, costing her the set just a mere three games later. During the second set, the two traded held service games for the first six games to start the set. Whilst Venus started serving first, she would get broken again during the seventh game of the set, which eventually surrendered the match to sister Serena. This was Serena Williams' 23 Grand Slam singles title and 7th Australian Open title for her career, both being open-era records. Whilst being one shy of Margaret Court's record of 24 in the history of tennis. Men's doubles Women's doubles Mixed doubles Juniors Boys singles Girls singles Boys doubles Girls doubles Wheelchair events Wheelchair men singles Wheelchair women singles Wheelchair quad singles Wheelchair men's doubles Wheelchair women's doubles Wheelchair quad doubles Single seeds the following are the seeded players and notable players who withdrew from the event. Seeding are arranged according to ATP and WTA rankings on 9 January 2017. Men's Singles Women's Singles Withdrawn Players Double Seeds Men's Doubles Women's Doubles Mixed Doubles Main draw wild card entries Men's singles Women's singles Men's doubles Women's doubles Mixed doubles Main draw qualifier entries Men's singles Women's singles Withdrawals The following players were accepted directly into the main tournament 
but withdrew with injuries and other reasons. Retirements